Thank you so much for joining me in this uh, introduction to Coulomb's Law. Coulomb's Law, when used qualitatively, has a lot of real power to describe and explain behavior, not only of atoms, but also of bonding and attractions between molecules. So I think it's very important to lay down some groundwork for Coulomb's Law. Now, I am doing Coulomb's Law of potential energy. And so you're going to see either D or maybe R in the denominator as opposed to R squared in the denominator. And that's because I'm referencing potential energy here. Um, in this case, the Q is going to be the charges. The D is the distance between the charges. And I'm a reader for the AP test, and one of the things we find is that students don't always define that parameter well. And so it's like the distance between what particle and what particle, or what species and what species. So one of the things you always want to do is define that distance. So between A and B, and make sure it's very, very clear. All right, so what we find qualitatively with Coulomb's Law is that if I increase the distance, I make the potential energy smaller, a smaller value, smaller magnitude. One of the tricky parts of this is um, how you discuss the potential energy, especially when it becomes a negative value. So I want to talk about increased distance. You're going to make it a smaller magnitude. If you increase either of the charges, you're going to increase the potential energy. You're going to make it a bigger magnitude. <clears throat> okay, so if I have um, two charged particles, if I have a positive particle and a negative ch particle, they're going to be attracted to one another. And you notice that when we have attraction, that the potential energy for attraction, attractive forces, is going to be a negative value. So the more negative the potential energy, the greater the attraction. So as we decrease the distance, if this is, let's say they're infinitely far apart, as we decrease the distance, they're getting closer and closer and closer and closer together, we'll notice that the potential energy will decrease. Okay, so you can talk about the fact that we have either a lower magnitude. So I don't mind higher and lower because it really is higher and lower on this scale. I avoid bigger and smaller unless you're talking about magnitude. So I would say it's becoming more negative. So you could be, say it's becoming more negative or less negative. Or you can say that it has a larger magnitude. In that case, we'd be talking about really in the absolute value sense. But you have to be careful how you reference that when it's a negative value. So either higher, lower, more negative is what I actually prefer for me. Um, or you can talk about it as a larger magnitude, in which case you're really referencing its absolute value. Okay? Now, Let's take a look at what would happen if we had Q was either positive, positive, or negative, negative. In either of these cases, we have repulsion. Potential energy in chemistry is going to be all about repulsive forces and attractive forces. So as these particles get closer and closer, okay, then they get closer and closer, they start to sense the presence, and it's a repulsive force between them. So that force becomes higher or more positive 
or a bigger magnitude. I once saw a greeting card that says, you know the old saying that um, absence makes the heart grow fonder? And you open it up and it says, it's true. The further away you get, the more I like you. And that's true of like charges in chemistry. Positives repel positives, negatives repel negatives. And so I, I hope this gives you just a brief introduction. So uh, if I, let me do one more. I just thought of one more. What if I had made this two positive compared to one negative, and then I had a particle that had one positive and one negative, okay? Then this one, the positive two one, if you plug it in up there, is going to be the more negative potential energy. It's going to be the greater attraction. Okay, so now if I compared plus one to minus one, plus one out here compared to the minus is less negative because I've increased the distance, I decrease that value of the potential energy and it's less attracted. So it's a kind of a simplistic, very simplistic introduction to potential energy. We will never deal with that little uh, constant K. In my class, I will only be using this in a qualitative sense. Um, so I hope this helps you understand this concept. Thanks so much for joining me.